because today's Fab Facts brings us to the world of Martin Kane, private investigator. Right. Or Martin Kane, private detective. Or even Martin Kane, private eye. Right. Which was the title of the 1949 American radio series in which the character got his start. Uh, sorry, this is the Jerry Anderson podcast. I don't know if you're aware of that. Just bear with me. Okay. I, I mean, I know the connection here, so well, I'm oh. sure some people are going to learn some things here. Uh, the first radio episode aired less than one month before the character first appeared on NBC in a live television series. Mm. And so from 1949 to 1954, fans of Martin Kane had a plethora of adventures to enjoy mm -hmm. with the character and his associates p performed by various actors over the years. Right. Okay? Right. Okay, yes. What does this have to do with well, the Anderson you, universe? Exactly. I can hear you asking well, literally. I'm sure you can hear me asking that. Yes. Well, as it turns out, quite a bit. Well, that's a relief. So, mm. uh, in 1957, the series was resurrected for television once again, this time as a film series for ABC television produced in the UK. Right. Starring William Gargan. Right. Yes. Okay. Who was the original TV and radio Martin Kane from 1949. Produced by Harry Allen Towers, the series also featured an episode directed by Jerry Anderson. Oh! Uh, actually, one and a half episodes, since he was later brought back uncredited to finish off another episode when the original director had collapsed from nervous exhaustion. <laughs> Cheery story. <laughs> I try not to say it with quite such a little bounce in your well, voice. I was trying to make it oh, a little bit brighter. Keep it light, yeah. Uh, Dad's full episode was titled The Film Studio Story and first aired in the UK on the 13th of April. 1958, the day before his birthday. Right. Uh, Dad was given the script with only one day's notice. Wow. Uh, he had just a day and a half to film the episode's interior scenes mm -hmm. and a whole day to shoot the location footage. That's generous, isn't it? Yes. Uh, which perhaps gives you some idea of the quality of the final production. Oh, harsh, I think. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, after getting to the studio, Dad set to work filming the guest actress in that particular episode, only to soon discover that she was meant to be working with a different unit filming a different episode altogether. <laughs> OK, fine. Great start. But apart from that, all went well. Everything was smooth, yeah. Once the studio shooting was done, it was time for a location shoot, and the exciting climax of the episode involved a young man running around on some scaffolding that Dad remembered as being about 120 foot high. That seems quite high. <laughs> Interesting memory. Yes. <laughs> um, as dangerous th as that sounds, the location filming also went without a hitch, mm. and it wasn't until the end of the day that Dad finally admitted to this young actor that he had a problem with vertigo. <laughs> Whoops. So shooting at such a height had actually been quite difficult for him. Oh, bless. Dad hated being at heights. Yes. He really did. So, yeah, oh. it's amazing. Uh, much to his surprise, this actor, too, was a fellow vertigo sufferer oh, right. and had also had to muster all the courage in order to get through the shoot. The actor's name? Uh, go on. David Graham. Is it? Yes. Oh. So this is how they met. I see. So that's right, the legendary voice artist who brought us Parker, Brains, Dr. Beaker, Matthew Matic, and many others first met Dad while filming an episode of Martin Kane, Upper Scaffold. Uh, and so it's thanks to that meeting that Dad remembered him when it came time to cast roles in Four for the Falls. Oh. Had they not been first brought together on Martin Kane, the Anderson universe might have sounded a lot different than it did. Yes. Because let's face it, it's pretty much impossible to imagine Thunderbirds and Stingray and XL5 and so on without the voice of David Graham. Yes. And David's place in those shows came about thanks to the thrilling exploits yeah. of Martin Kane, private eye detective investigator bloke. Right. To give him his full title. Yes. I see. Is that how he introduces himself at parties? <laughs> Oh, Very catchy, isn't it? Interesting. So actually, it wasn't that particular show that brought the two people together. It was their shared fear of heights. Well, it was the show and the, and the fear well, of heights. Well, that's what got them talking and that's what, you know, yeah. sparked some sort of relationship, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. Gosh. So it's quite interesting that, you know, it's a, a sort of you know, an issue that one might have um, might lead to better things. Yeah. A, mm. a strange bond over a strange problem. Because mm, I've got a fear of... Um, Presenting podcasts. Don't know if you really? know that. Yeah. You too? Strange. <gasps> Me too. Yeah, really? Yeah. Ah. Suddenly all makes sense now, it? Doesn't all it? makes sense, yeah. Yeah, interesting. I, do you know, I quite like that. It was a little sort of, you know... Meandering. Meandering is the word I was about to use. Many fab facts are. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I like it. Great.